great similar cheap fragrance alternatives. Let's just dive right in, starting with Tom Ford Black Orchid Eau de Parfum. If you go to the department stores in the United States, this will set you back $171 plus tax. It's a lovely floral fragrance with some black curant, which is like a berry, has some orchids in it, of course, with the orchid part, which is a floral. It's a nice, lovely fragrance, unisex. Men and women really like this. It lasts a long time. It's got exotic spices in it, but the price is high. So in this video, we're going to recommend other fragrances by breaking down the note structure and showing you other fragrances that go in a similar direction that are cheaper. For instance, with this one, I found 1981's Giorgio Beverly Hills for Women. They both have citruses, they both have gardenia, they both have jasmine, the floral ylang ylang, and orchids in the front. Though this Giorgio uses apricots and peaches versus Tom Ford uses the black curant, which is the berry, and it uses truffles and lemon. The base of Giorgio is an amber musk, patchouli and sandalwood. Some of the main differences is the exotic florals where they source their, their ingredients, of course, and the Tom Ford strength of their brand name. And also Tom Ford uses dark black chocolate in this fragrance, along with some vetiver. Black Orchid is more of an oriental floral with dark notes. This is just like a floral, a plain and simple floral, but you can see how they go in the same direction and it's about 40, 50% of the same notes. And what's the price? $171, $12 to $20 all over the Google internet search for Giorgio Beverly Hills. Another option, if you really do love Tom Ford Black Orchid and you see it's an Eau de Parfum concentration, if you just get Eau de Toilette concentration, I believe it's 20, 30, even $40 less in price, especially if you go to fragrance discounters. And another fragrance that's similar in scent structure, if you decompose the notes, is called Angel by Derry Mugler, the female version, which is very close in the same direction as well probably $30, $40 less in price or even more on a discount search. So by the way, if you're new here, my name is Christian O, fragrance lover since the 90s. On this channel, we discuss all things fragrances related. And if you wanna learn to smell better for less and connect with other fragrance lovers in the comments below, all you have to do is go to our homepage and click on playlists. All these videos are organized in a nice fashion. You can binge watch them. Fragrances, similar scents, cheaper, cheaper fragrances, best fragrances for winter, and things like that. And in this video, if I'd like you to ask you a question, what's the question? What's your most similar scent to your favorite scent that you wear? Comment down below. I'll comment right back. Moving on up to the next of the list, the next one's going to be called... The next fragrance, similar scent, cheaper, is called Versace Eros Flame. This came out in 2018. A big bottle like this is running at about $130. When you spray this, it has a note of chinotto. What is chinotto? It's a fancy Italian dark colored orange soft drink. It's not as sweet as a cola, but it's like bittersweet, like a masculine silky floral. In the first 10 minutes when you spray it, it's like a lemon bomb mixed with tangerine, you know, the fruit tangerine. And then you get that Italian bitter orange soda note coming in. And then it goes to a floral sweet stage. And then it ends deliciously with a vanilla musk ending. All ages for this, it's a parfum version of Versace Eros, the blue one that looks like this. And it lasts about 10 to 12 hours. But then again, if you don't want to shell out, there's all different sizes ranging from $80 and up on this Versace. If you don't want to shell out that money, you try this. I don't have the bottle. Here's a picture of it. It's called Ungaro 3 by Emmanuel Ungaro. Both have the sweet orange opening, though Versace uses tangerine. Both have lemon, geranium, and rose in it. And both have a base of vetiver, sandalwood, patchouli, oak moss, and other cedar woods. But Versace uses tonka beans and adds the delicious vanilla note in theirs. Versace is more of a woody, aromatic, Whereas on Garo, it's like aromatic green. It's got more green notes in it. Versace, again, costs over $100 for these big ones. On Garo 3, the link's down below, right around 20 bucks. And if you want to go even cheaper, or similar scent cheaper than even on Garo, at a store in the United States called Marshall's, there's something called Alfred Sung Sung Purom. It's like a purple bottle. 
and it has the same base notes but no vanilla it's more like a fougere kind of a spicier fragrance but it goes in the same direction it has a similar note breakdown the next similar scent fragrance alternative cheaper we're going to compare is creed royal oud which is 425 dollars in the department store prices in america and on the amazon link they're in the 300 dollars range it's a delicious oud scent oud's like a resin that comes out of a tree it's very expensive this is like spicy and masculine and strong and something that's similar came out years ago it's called bulgari extreme porom it's an older bulgari not bulgari man just Bulgari Extremes has to find on eBay around $50, $60 or Amazon around $90. I don't believe it's in production anymore. I'm not sure, but this also has galbdamum, pepper, and cedarwood just like this, and it's a lot cheaper. What the H is galbdamum? It's a bitter, aromatic resin that comes out of trees, and it produces like a rich, spicy green scent, which comes to the best selection to match up those it's called afnan his highness green it has bergamot in it lavender and it moves into that pepper galbdamum that resin spicy green resin note it comes in a beautiful box like that it's about three pounds it weighs this one ends with oud oud wood and leather giving it a little bit more masculinity a little bit more punch but it's so exotic nice and well balanced very masculine very long lasting and for you viewers only on best brands perfume you'll be helping to support the channel you can get it for 69 dollars help support your channel the next similar scent cheaper is called jean paul gautier and if you do have one make sure it has that raised lettering on the back it says gautier this 6.7 ounce bottle costs about 118 dollars in the fragrances stores it's a nice mass appealing highly complimented sweet fragrance with some mint in it and some citrus and a nice vanilla buttery ending but it is quite pricey hall of fame fragrance that lasts five to seven hours years ago it lasted 10 to 20 hours it was powerful they've reformulated due to regulations or you could buy this cuba gold edition it's a cuba gold label edition for six to eight dollars all over the internet it has the very same vanilla vanilla buttery creamy ending 118 or 6 keep on watching because we're getting into some more mass appealing popular fragrances such as this one it's called Ralph Lauren Polo Blue one of the hottest fragrances in America for many years not today but back in the day and Polo Blue has mandarin and cucumber in it and sexy leathers and woods and spices delicious mass appealing five hour lasting fragrance and another fragrance has the exact same composition minus the leather it uses sandalwood instead it's called ocean dream and that thing is 23 dollars this thing is about a hundred dollars the ocean dream lasts about five to seven hours maybe even longer than this it has the same similar scent and these are great to wear casually every day you can wear them dressed down or dressed up more of a spring summer fragrance however but in fragrances world you can wear whatever you want whenever you want to be quite honest well you made it to the top three fragrances similar scent cheaper and we're gonna dive right in like a torpedo starting with chanel Bleu de Chanel Parfum from 2018. This was kind of difficult to find a fragrance that's still available on today's market, but I did manage to find one. This has lemon, geraniums, lavender, cedarwood in it, and sandalwood. And you can find something similar scent cheaper because this is like $150 for 3.4 for the Pure Parfum. You get this one called Pure Nautica Discovery from 2011. Maybe some discounters have it, but mostly you find it on eBay. But it has the lemon, the lavender, the cedar wood. It has the sandalwood in it. Chanel adds some geranium in it, where Nautica has ginger and cilantro, the, the nice little green cilantro, making Nautica a bit more woody spicy, but it still goes in the very much same direction. This is more of a woody herbal fragrance. Nautica still is available if you just Google search it. It's great for all ages and lasts six to seven hours. And this one probably lasts eight to nine hours. This is number two. 
the top dog, Giorgio Armani, Code Profumo, dressed up feeling. This is a great sexy club Tonka warm fragrance sprays out like that. It's 12 hours lasting, pretty easy on the last time I wore it, but I sprayed heavy. Great for going out, dating, cold weather, fall weather, all weather really, night times, and a huge scent CIs, which means when you walk by someone, they're gonna smell you, you get noticed. This thing's $115 for 3.7 ounces at Sephora stores in the United States, or you simply get Bogart Story Red from 2012. This came out in 2016. Bogart Story Red has green cardamom, which is part of the mint family. It has lavender, citrus, and amber, similar to this. This has leather in it. Bogart Story Red does not, though. Bogart Story Red, Amazon link down below, 22 bucks. Because it's the number one fragrance anyway. It's called Aqua Di Gio Profumo. Similar scent, cheaper to this. I'm gonna tell you in a second. This one has citruses, spices, rosemary, and sage, and a heavy scent sillage. Means the scent trail. You will get noticed when you wear this. It's loud, it projects well, it lasts a huge long time. And this costs about 130 or higher, plus tax in department stores in the United States. Aqua di Gio Giorgio Armani Profumo. What's a similar scent cheaper? It's called Naudica Life with the rope. Came out in 2014. Both have rosemary, both have sage in it. Both are aromatic aquatics. And if you want to know. And another cool similar scent cheaper too. 2019's Carolina Herrera Bad Boy, the one that looks like a lightning bolt. This is a very expensive fragrance running around 120, 130 for these 3.4 ounce bottles. It's a very good smelling fragrance. It has cedar wood, it has tonka bean. What is tonka bean? It's like that almondy vanilla, almost cinnamon like note. It's very good compliment getting fragrance price is high and a similar scent cheaper that has the amber that has cedar wood that has the tonka note it's called oda iceberg sandalwood and this is like 15 to 20 dollars this is 130 dollars this is a great similar scent cheaper we smell that on this hand and you smell it on that hand. This is a little bit more woody, spicy. This is more aromatic spicy, but they're very similar in note structure, about 40 to 44 by percent.